Hey guys, I'm Patrick, and for subscribers who are used to seeing motorcycle videos on this channel, stick around, more of those are going to come. But we're going to add a new category to the channel, uh, specifically for my aerial imaging interests. And the first video in the series is going to be for the unique Typhoon H, and in particular for the ST16 controller. The Typhoon H has a tendency to stay locked in hover until the sticks are moved well off center, causing a slight jerk as it starts to move. This makes flying at very slow speed difficult as the craft is trying to stop rather than proceed as commanded. This tendency, though slight, is captured by the camera and can disrupt a shot as shown here. Even though this disruption is very little, the eye can discern the difference between a shot with slight disruptions and one that is perfectly smooth. Slow shots like this one are best achieved with a rate slider at slow, but I found that the yaw and throttle rates are cut too far with the slider, so what is needed is a way to create the slower rate on the aileron and elevator stick only. And to achieve this, we are going to set up a rate curve inside the ST16 controller. From the home screen, open channel settings and say OK. Select Aileron on the output function and J4 will be highlighted on the input side. Select J4 and then confirm edit. Select broken curve and you will now see the additional edit points along the path. Using the buttons as shown, adjust the values in the columns. Buttons at the top increase values and buttons at the bottom reduce them. Columns 1 through 4 should have a negative value. As a starting point, set the values as shown here. This rate curve now allows us to leave the rate slider on the controller fast, but the output of the controls has the same effect as if it were set to slow for the first 75% of movement. The last 25% of stick movement then gives us the full range of output, thus allowing constant use of the high slider while the feel of the controls around center is like using the slow rate. After confirming the values, remember to save the changes. You should see a message that the save was successful, then hit the return button. Notice now how the output to stick movement is slow around center and increases as you near the end, giving the full 100%. Use the same procedure and steps for the elevator channel by selecting it and choosing J3 on the output side. Once in the edit screen, use the same techniques and values as before to set the curve for the elevator. Note that these rate curves are just a starting point that can be altered any time to suit one's needs. In the event that you want to go back to the stock settings, you can simply go back to the edit page and note that your selection is still the broken line. Select Expo 1 and it will return to the factory default. Keep in mind, if you want to go back to the broken line curve, you will now need to reset the values again. An added benefit of this setup is now the rates of the aileron and elevator stick are more evenly matched to that of the rudder stick making smooth coordinated turns effortless, whereas before it seemed to take about three times as much rudder input as either the aileron or elevator stick to yield an even turn. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.